Hi, it's Thursday. It's 12 noon. That means I am live on my Botanicomy page. My name is Tanya Uester, Dr. T, <laughs> as um, some of my favorites call me. And today we're going to be talking about a really awesome essential oil on my Alchemy of Soothing Botanic Ingredients page. And of course, I do this every Thursday. I come to you live where I teach you a little bit more about essential oils um, and how you can use them to support your body on a daily basis. So, um, yeah, welcome. I can see some people are starting to log in. Remember, if you want a shout out, um, go and say hi in the comments and then I can give you a shout out. I'm going to get a paper and pen ready in case people want some recipes today. And we're going to be talking about an oil which probably needs about a two hour class <laughs> at least. Uh, but generally, I have only about 20 to 30 minutes for a live. So um, it's going to be a, a brief one. It's going to have some information and obviously... Um, there's definitely ample opportunity to come and learn more in time from this beautiful essential oil. So I can see that Maria's logged in all the way from Germany. Welcome. Hi, Jill. You're also in. Yay. And essential oils. Yo, es bloy. Oh, I can't remember everyone's page names. In the comments, please go let me know who you are. I can see you've waved. I'm waving back. <laughs> Just remind me uh, who is running that beautiful page. Um, it's got a beautiful, I remember the, the logo is also really pretty. So just go let me know what your name is in there, please. So welcome. Today we're speaking about turmeric. And um, probably about a year ago, it's probably a little bit more than a year ago, I did do a section on turmerones specifically. Um, because obviously, oh, it's Shanice. There we go. EOS Bloy is Shanice. There we go. So turmerones um, are prevalent in the turmeric essential oil at quite high concentration. So there was a live about turmerones specifically just over about a year ago. And today we're going to be specifically talking about turmeric essential oil. So there's other components in there too, uh, which makes it really useful. And um, because there's so much information about this beautiful oil, let's get started. So for those of you that are coming in, just a reminder, go pop your names in the comment because then I can say hi. So turmeric um, is a flowering herb, um, and I actually have turmeric growing in my garden at the moment. Okay, it's no longer growing. We're, we're in winter. It's in my greenhouse, so the pots need to stay nice and warm. And the leaves have now started uh, sort of discoloring, so they're not that, that very bright green color anymore. They sort of started dying off, um, and probably in about a week or two's time, when, when everything sort of dies down on the top of the soil, I'll know it's time to go and dig up my turmeric. Um, and then plant some for next season, but also harvest a lot of it. Um, it's one of my favorite uh, spices that I use in cooking because I really love making curries. The weather outside is obviously ideal for curries at the moment. Um, so we are going to be talking about that beautiful golden spice. And I find it quite interesting because the, the turmeric is a flowering herb, although depending on where you grow it in the world, it doesn't always flower. Um, I guess it very much depends on the rain season um, and what kind of nutrients are in your soil. Um, Gwen is also just logged in. Welcome. Hello. And um, mine doesn't necessarily always flower. It, it tends to um, push out a flower every now and then, um, but not, not as overly um, dramatic as, as some of the beautiful photos that I see online. And it's grown throughout South, um, Southeast Asia. So obviously we've got a completely different climate and it's very well known worldwide as the spice that gives curry its seasoning, but also its color. And it's got a very distinct earthy flavor as well. Um, that golden flavor comes from one of the chemical constituents. And because turmeric is in the same family as ginger, the color and the flavor, which comes from the zingiberine, is actually related to being part of the ginger family. So I found that actually very, very interesting. And obviously the rhizomes and the tubers of the plant, because it's a root, um, they've been used in holistic Ayurvedic medicine for thousands of years. So almost about 4,000 years. Um, and it's also historically been used in China and Sri Lanka. So this is a, a root that has come with humanity and being used as medicine for a very, very, very long time. And today we're going to learn about how the turmeric essential oil specifically can support you when you are using either the turmeric powder, for example, or even eating the raw root. Now, when you do cook with turmeric, you'll also know that the difference between eating the, the fresh root versus the dried powder is completely different. Their flavor is completely different. Um, 
Hello, Kim is logged in. Welcome, welcome. You made it on time today. Fantastic having you on. So it tastes quite different and I find that I need a lot more from the powder to get the same kind of flavor profile compared to when I'm using a fresh root out of my garden. And the fresh root, <laughs> it, boy does it stain. So I have Caesar top counters um, and I've learned the hard way. Wear gloves and um, please use a proper cutting board and don't by, um, you know, just by accident push the ginger off the cutting board onto the Caesar stone because it really does stain. Um, Castile soap is obviously magical in taking away the yellow stain, but there's a really good reason why turmeric has been used traditionally to dye fabrics because it really does have that bright yellow color. So if I forget to put on gloves, for example, when I'm harvesting my roots and I'm cutting them up, or taking off the, the little bit of a skin, then the fingers also go like a bright, bright tinge of yellow. It's a really beautiful color though, it's sunshine, and it's that's why it's called the golden herb. And for those of you that drink golden milk, we're gonna be talking a bit about that today as well, because it's not just a delicious drink, it's actually very good for you too. My phone just died on Insta. There we go, no idea why that happened. <laughs> Hope you didn't lose me, Shanice, I'm back. Yes, I am back, there we go. Um, all right, so basically, let's uh, get started with turmeric. The the um, main constituents, obviously, being AR turmeric, which is in about ten to fifty percent, depending on whose oil you're purchasing. Then there's the regular turmerones, um, and then we also have um, zingiberine, which is then related to the ginger family, right? And those properties, basically, or those chemical constituents, the properties that it gives the turmeric is anti-inflammatory benefits, anti-carcinogenic, um, it's detoxifying, um, it is antibacterial, antioxidant properties, really amazing, anti-mutagenic, um, anti-cancer. And, oh, I said anti-cancer because it's anti-carcinogenic. I don't know why I've listed that twice. Maybe I just wanted to make a really good point there. <laughs> it's anti-tumoral and decongestant and also antiviral. Um, Shanice, I can see that my Insta keeps on dropping. So if you do want to pop over onto my Facebook page instead so you can go and catch the live there to not miss, maybe that's a good idea. Um, I think my one phone battery that I'm using is, is going because of the colder weather. This room gets really cold. I can see now with my heater full blown, it's sitting at 12.9 degrees Celsius in my workroom. So uh, the older phone's batteries do take a hammering um, and I can see it's doing that right now. So if I do crash on Insta, please head on over to my Facebook page or even catch the replay on my YouTube channel. Oh, there's lots of new people that's just logged in. Welcome Sandra on Facebook um, and Barbara Joza. Uh, you're also in. Welcome, welcome. So because of all those top properties, you can see why I would like to teach a two-hour class instead, because turmeric has just got so many amazing health um, and system supporting benefits, right? And if we can talk about those systems quickly, it's going to be supporting your circulatory system. So those are all the, the, the heart the, the, um, the blood vessels um, and um, all the things that go to do with that. So for example, really good metabolic support. So supporting a good, a good sugar metabolism. Um, I can see Lynn is also just logged in. Welcome, welcome. Um, it's also incredible for the digestive system. Obviously one of the oils that I use very regularly for digestive support. But oh, by the way, there's something else I'm going to be chatting about today, which is really important too, which is another very good reason why I like to use turmeric um, in my home almost every single day. Very good for the immune system. Very, very good for the nervous system. Ah, their Insta just went and died again. This phone is gone. Sorry, so Shanice, you're going to have to go onto Facebook. Yes, go onto Facebook, Shanice. I think Insta, if it shuts down again, I'm just going <laughs> to let it stay off. Um, and then the nervous system support is the one that I'm going to go into a little bit more detail today. And then obviously also really incredible for the integumentary system. And you may think, oh my goodness, what is she talking about? It's going to make my skin go yellow. Not true. I'm going to teach you about that today. Okay, great. So Shanice has gone over to Facebook. So if Insta crashes, Sorry, Insta. I'll reload this video onto Instagram, IGE TV later. I can see Sonia's just also logged in. Welcome on Facebook. So because of all the systems that I've just mentioned there, you can start understanding why this oil is so really amazing. So the benefits, obviously, of using um, turmeric itself, the root, the fresh root in cooking, as well as the dried powder, is because of all the um, immune modulating as well as 
healthy immune response function that it provides, um, and also very high in antioxidants. Now, let's not confuse the turmeric essential oil with the um, the real root and the the um, the dried version of the powder because. The real root and the dried version of the powder is very high in curcumins, which is actually water-soluble, and that you will not be finding in the essential oil because um, it is not the aromatic component. But what the essential oil is in, um, high in is tumorones and alpha tumorones, and then obviously that zingiberine. Now, the the beauty um, of having the those chemical constituents is that they are going to be providing quite a lot of benefit when you are going to be using this oil probably mostly internally and for some instances topically. Aromatically is probably one of the least used methods specifically with the turmeric essential oil, um, but the topical and the internal use is definitely um, used more, more routinely. So internally, um, just a, quite an interesting fact here, curcumin, actually the bioavailability is not that great. So when you're eating the root or the dried powder, they always say you've got to add pepperine, so you've got to add black pepper. That actually increases the um, bio or the absorbability for your body to be able to use the curcumins for that um, healthy immune response and inflammatory response. Um, but the turmerones, which are in very high concentration in the turmeric essential oil, actually increase the bioavailability too. So here's a top tip for those of you that are not making golden milk yet. Um, if you want a recipe for a really delicious golden milk, by the way, just put in the comic, comments golden milk or golden latte. I'll get that to your phone um, as soon as possible after today's live. But golden milk is really delicious. Um, I actually use it as a dessert or um, as a fill me up after dinner. I like to do intermittent fasting and sometimes because I eat dinner earlier, Late at night, um, I do can, tend to get a little bit peckish. And if, if I really um, am not able with brain power to say, hey, you really don't need this food, you're just after the sweetness, um, then sometimes I do make myself a golden turmeric latte to go before I go to bed. And in that golden milk is obviously the turmeric powder with some honey, which is really good. Um, but adding turmeric essential oil to that is going to increase the bioavailability of the curcumin in the dried turmeric powder. And the tumorones in the essential oil is also going to be providing you with a lot of physical benefits, um, supporting very many body systems. All right, so golden milk, absolutely delicious, all right? Um, but basically, the, the other top uses before we get into the nitty-gritty one about the nervous system, which is incredible about this essential oil, um, because of the healthy inflammatory response that it, that it supports, it's going to be really good for muscular um, joint issues, for example. It's going to be incredibly good where you have um, had an injury for, um, on your ankle. I'm going to say ankle because I obviously recently had one in November. And turmeric is one of the essential oils that I added to my blend that I was supporting my ankle with during the healing process um, and it's really nice because you do need the healthy inflammation because that's how your body starts to heal um, but basically the um, the turmeric is going to the turmeric essential oil itself is definitely going to be supporting with a healthy inflammatory response so it's gonna help the body to not go into that chronic state um, which is obviously going to lead to more serious conditions um, also, when you start thinking about the circulatory system, it's really good, for example, when you do have poor circulation and it's really supportive for people with a glucose or a metabolism um, issue. So it's supporting people with um, healthy blood sugars, for example, and having a healthy circulatory response with regards to blood pressure. Turmeric is really beneficial um, health-wise for all those conditions. Also really good for when you have crampy or sore muscles so it can definitely support there um, and very good believe it or not for oral cavities so um, there's a lot of information about coconut oil pulling or sesame oil pulling um, that you do in your mouth which is really beneficial but you could for example then add a drop or two of the turmeric essential oil to the oil pulling because it's really good for gum and teeth health as well Obviously, incredible in cooking um, because it acts as a natural food preservative as well. And now you know because it's going to increase the, the bioavailability of the curcumin, which is water soluble in the root, then adding the turmeric essential oil is going to be um, increasing that bioavailability. But the turmerones themselves have got very, um, very many supporting benefits for your body. It's also 
really good on the emotional side and you all know that I like to get to the emotional side right at the end of this session and we're going to be talking a little bit about the emotional side but also about the energy side specifically about this essential oil. Integumentary, that's the big word for skin um, amongst other things, right? Turmeric essential oil is incredible for your skin. Um, it's really detoxifying, it's got really nice anti-inflammatory properties um, and it really can help your skin to glow and not glow because it's yellow. So here's a top tip. There's a lot of good information and research out there showing how beneficial turmeric can be for your skin. But obviously, if you've tried to make these DIY recipes that you do find online with the turmeric powder, <laughs> hope you were like I, um, like I was and you smelled the rat before you tried it. The turmeric powder is going to make your skin turn yellow, yes. Um, and obviously, over time, it'll go away. Uh, but I smelled the rat before I tried that. Guess what? The turmeric itself, the turmeric essential oil itself, does not make your skin turn yellow. So if you are going to be wanting to make a very regenerating um, and sort of juicifying is the word that I always use, um, but really like plumping and giving moisture and love back to your skin, then adding turmeric essential oil to a really nice face mask, mask is a very good idea. So for those of you that want uh, at home, I'm just going to quickly check the ingredients for you here, an at home turmeric face mask. If you want that sent straight to your phone, please send in the comments, just write the uh, face mask and I'll get that to your, to your phone as soon as possible. But it's basically um, making a at-home mask using things like oatmeal, which is really good for sensitive skins, the turmeric essential oil, um, and you can add yogurt and honey to that, which is really incredible for good skin health. Um, but yes, we're going to be using the turmeric essential oil instead of the turmeric powder. So again, if you just want information on that, if you want it to your, to your phone, just go pop face mask into the comments. Um, and it's really delicious. And it's one of those really nice self-care routines that you can specifically use over the weekend. Um, I like doing a little bit extra self-care over the weekend because it, I don't know, it's, it's, it helps me reset for the week. And when you learn about the emotional benefits of turmeric, you're going to understand why applying it to your face um, is going to really just get you ready for the next week as well. All right, so um, now that we've talked about the face mask, um, let's get to the neuro, the neurological support um, and specifically the nervous system, because this is what um, fascinates me just so much about this beautiful turmeric. So the turmerones and the alpha turmerones, what they do, there's quite a lot of research now showing that they actually inhabit and in <laughs> that word inhibit, not inhabit, they inhibit what we call the beta secretase enzymes as well as microglia. Now, those might, might be two very big words, but if you're anything into reading about brain health, memory conditions, degenerative conditions, specifically for brain and memory loss, then those words might ring a bell. And basically what they're involved in is in plaque or plaque formation in the brain. Now, those the, the beta secretase and the microglia they are inhibited by turmerones. And now you can start understanding why using something like turmeric essential oil on a daily basis is going to be incredibly supportive, specifically when we are looking for good, good supportive brain health um, and to perhaps support your body so that you don't get to the degenerative old age diseases, which so many people are now developing at younger and younger ages. And if we start looking at a healthy dose, um, the turmeric essential oil can be added to a capsule, for example, an empty veggie capsule um, or a um, gel cap. And here, only use internal essential oils, please, when you are using a tested grade essential oil. So when it actually has a supplement label on the side of the bottle. So the turmeric essential oil, you can add two to three drops to a capsule. There's some other oils that you can add to that, which is going to support good brain health and be a good brain booster. But turmeric is an absolutely crucial part of that capsule that's going to support good brain health. So if you're doing a maintenance dose just as a preventative health measure, so something on a daily basis, two to three drops is going to be a really good idea. And at the same time, it's also going to support your body with a healthy inflammatory response. Um, so that's going to go all over the body and not only support good brain health, but definitely the rest of the body too. Um, so if you are interested in a brain boosting um, capsule, 
what else can go in there um, another one in the comments please go put in there brain boost and I'll send that recipe to you um, but it basically obviously the main component obviously being the turmeric essential oil and then we do I'm just gonna check my notes here oils like frankincense rosemary and peppermint are also incredibly beneficial um, so you can add into the comments the brain boost and I'll send that recipe to you exactly how much of what but the turmerones and the alpha turmerones have actually been found in the brain um, after oral dosage in all the studies that was done so it shows by ingesting it it actually does reach the brain and it's going to support the brain where it needs that help so where it needs that inhibition of that specific enzyme as well as the microglia which are in turn look we're making plaques and destroying plaques on a daily basis um but obviously when that balance gets disturbed and the destroying of the plaques is no longer happening, when they start building up in the brain, that's when the degenerative conditions start taking place. And specifically, the alpha turmerones themselves, they're also involved in um, the inducing um, the neural stem cell proliferation. So that basically means the, the neurons um, proliferation helps them to make more, <laughs> to make babies. <laughs> we call it that um, and basically because of that it's extensively studied specifically for de degenerative neural conditions all right so turmeric is just an absolute essential oil for daily preventative health habits um, it's really going to be incredibly supportive for your entire body but almost every single system in the body like we would say for frankincense as well um, and it's really going to be very supportive for really good brain health um, and hopefully so you can uh, live a a good quality life um, until a much older age, which is really, really awesome. So while you're going to be using these essential oils, both topically, you're going to be smelling them, and even when you are going to be using them internally, they are going to have emotional benefits as well. And on the emotional side, the um, chemical constituents in turmeric are incredibly restoring and grounding. And the reason for that is it's a root. So in general, all essential oils that are roots um, are very grounding and stabilizing. And if you, for example, associate that with feeling uprooted, so something has gone wrong, there's some kind of trauma, um, and there's been some kind of uprootedness, and you're feeling like um, something is off, something is just not right, using a, an essential oil that comes from a root is going to be incredibly supportive. So here, turmeric is going to be really important. So it helps um, move... Um, like very serious, the negative, very serious, heavy emotions that you get from feeling uprooted. It's going to really support you there from almost feeling, moving from feeling compromised to assured. So that's on the emotional side. So even while you're using it on your skin for self-care over the weekend in that beautiful face mask that you're going to be making from that recipe that you asked for in the comments, it's going to be very supportive emotionally when you're feeling uprooted. And on the energy side, um, it's very well known to cleanse chakras um, and sort of um, stabilize energy fields. So I don't know if you, if for those of you that are very familiar with Reiki, um, energy brushing um, and stay, you know, sort of um, smoothing energies, definitely incorporating turmeric into that regime or that ritual is going to be incredibly supportive. So you can see that this oil definitely needs a two hour class if I'm gonna go, go into detail. Let me remind you of all the recipes that you can ask for today. The first one we talked about is the ultimate golden latte, which a lot of us drink um, because it's delicious, but oh, by the way, it's also really supportive for all your body systems, really powerful anti-inflammatory benefits, um, really good for brain health, very good for digestive support as well. Um, and then obviously the second one we were talking about is the face mask for self-care <laughs> that won't turn your face yellow over the weekend. So if you would like that, um, I'm definitely going to be sending that to you. Just remember to go and pop it in the comments. And then the last one was talking about that brain boosting capsule. Um, definitely very good for elderly. Um, but for those of us that have, for example, got the genetics or in the family already, um, those degenerative brain conditions, nothing, you know, I, I always say that preventative health is better than treating the symptoms or the disease when it actually hits. Um, so doing things preventatively and supportively throughout our life is definitely going to be the way to go. Um, so never a better time than now to start using your turmeric essential oil on a daily basis. So thank you to all of you that joined today. I hope to see you all next week for our next single essential oil. Today was episode 40, by the way. So we've had a very long run of single essential oils. There is only a few left. Um, and then as soon as that 
is finished, we are going to um, be planning something very new and very exciting. Um, so yeah, keep staying um, or keep tuning in and sharing these lives if they are family and friends that you think may need the information. And obviously, if you want to catch the replay today, it's now not on Insta because my phone battery just went. Um, can I have to get a new device or a start up an older device? I don't know. Um, but basically, I'll load this one onto IGE and then also onto YouTube and you can go and catch the replay there. Thank you to all of you that joined today. I can just see very nice comments coming up. Um, lots of people that joined today. Really exciting. So I hope to see you all again next week, Thursday as well. Cheerio.